<laughs> yeah, he looped this thing, almost looped it. He went up the sandstone and he, he still blocked it. And you see the f rear fender's all shorter now. <laughs> he drug it up there and then he spun it around and came back down. He didn't actually loop all the way. It was quite, it was quite impressive. That's awesome. But I was, I was, I was trying to. There was all these guys at the top and they wouldn't come down. And so I said, well, I'll go back up and I'll just talk to them and say, there's no big deal. And then I well, proved my idiocy. It was, it was pretty impressive. And Mendo got a picture of it on his phone. Which is <laughs> yeah, I got to the top there right before I turned back, and I was like, what? And then so I just bump started it and tried to find it, but. Who knows? So the kick starts missing? The shifter. The shifter. Yeah. Buddy in tow. I am Buddy in tow. See? Buddy in tow. He has ten toes, apparently. wonder if we're going to go back through it. I think we should go back through it. But, uh, so he can ride it. I would like to see Duff back to ride it. We had another mishap. Mr. Nest Up Productions decided uh, to lose his shifter and they tried to find it and they can't find it and so we can Duff Factor went back with him and he's gonna end up going to town to fix his bike. I'm gonna borrow a truck, borrow some cash and uh, it looks like we're not gonna do it. Oh for shame. Yeah I have a little story to tell. Long ago, the Native Americans, I've been told, named their children after what they would see as soon as the birth had happened. So the, you know, the, the mom would give birth and they'd come out and tell the father and the father would go and see something and that's what they would name the child. So for instance, you know, there's like flying eagle or, you know, crouching bear, all these majestic names, you know. And this one guy gave his wife gave birth and he goes out to see and saw something up ahead he couldn't really see what it was up on top of the hill and it kicked some rocks down and so he saw these rocks and so he called his son falling rock and this man happened to be the chief of your you know the chief of the tribe so he called his son falling rock and he became the second in command, of course, and as he grew to prove his manhood, to become chief, he had to go and take a trial, take a test. He had to go off by himself, climb a mountain, and return. Anyway, he never returned. And so, when the chief would send other people out, he would always tell them, watch for falling rock. You get it? <laughs> Don't know if it's true. 